Tonight, Republicans are increasingly confident that they will be able to block witnesses in the impeachment trial, raising the likelihood that President Trump is acquitted by the end of the week. Now, this comes after an extraordinary day in the U.S. Senate when senators got their chance to ask questions. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill tonight with some of the surprising answers. After sitting silently for more than a week, the jurors had a lot on their mind. Senator Grassley asked, Senator Feinstein asked, senators asked. Of Chief Justice John Roberts read their questions aloud from special handwritten cards. If President Trump had more than one motive. For his the first question conduct. was about how they should vote if the president had both valid and invalid reasons for withholding aid to Ukraine. It can't possibly be an offense. White House counsel Patrick Philbin. It would be absurd to have the Senate trying to consider, well, was it 48 percent legitimate interest and 52 percent personal interest, or was it the other way? In, in Impeachment manager Adam Schiff disagreed. That if any part of the president's motivation was a corrupt motive, that is enough to convict. Mostly Defense right. lawyer Alan You're Dershowitz right. had this interest. novel take. And if a president does something which he believes will help him get elected in the public interest, that cannot be the kind of quid pro quo that results in impeachment. The question of the defendant's intent and state of mind is always an issue. Indicted businessman Lev Parnas arrived on the Hill to take it all in. Arnas claims he helped pressure Ukraine to investigate the Bidens on the president's behalf. We have text messages, we have e emails, we validate everything I say. And Nancy joins us from the Hill. So Democrats tried to make the case that in order to determine motive, you need to hear from witnesses. What's the likelihood of that? Well, it looks less likely tonight, Nora, because a couple of key Republicans have announced that they are probably going to vote no on witnesses. But it is still going to be razor tight. There's a strong chance this could be a 50-50 vote, which would force the Supreme Court Justice John Roberts to make the tie-breaking vote. He'll have to make that decision, Nora. Well, that would be incredible. All right, Nancy, thank you.